up everybody I'm back again with another lift um, rideshare experience video this is part 8 on the Zim this is the Zim video I'm an artist and musician from Seattle Washington using Lyft as my primary source of income while I'm working on my other businesses I should say I, I live in San Diego so I'm from Seattle but I live in San Diego right now it's the way I'm doing things so let's get to it shall we um, how much I made this is what I made this week a um, little bit less than or a little bit more than 700 bucks um, which is very disappointing for me this week because I'm super bummed that I had all week to drive and you've seen in the past videos where I didn't have all week to drive like I had my kids or different various things and I almost made a grand and this week I had all nothing else on the schedule except driving and I was only able to make 700 bucks and it really really disheartening and really bummed out me out. Um, I didn't do anything different with my routine really. Um, I trying to. I don't know why Lyft. Like I wasn't able to get the rides that I would normally get. Um, it was pre, It was a really slow week. So um, that's. I'm not entirely clear why it happened the way it did. Um, so who knows? Maybe spring break's happening. Maybe that was part of the reason. Um, but who knows, hopefully this week, it's Monday now, this week will be a lot better. And I actually have, I'm pretty sure I have this whole week as well to work. And so, so I'll tell you about hours in a minute. But um, so this is, so that, you saw my, um, what I made. Here's the daily breakdown of each day. Just leave that on the screen for a second so you can see it, get an idea of how much that works out. Um, here's my, well, just a side caveat for me personally. It really feels like it's hard to make this a sustainable job unless I can hit a thousand dollars or really close to a thousand dollars a week. Um, so that's part of why I'm really disappointed is because it just it cost me basically talks me two hundred dollars when I drive basically all week it cost me around two hundred dollars in gas a week. So that seven hundred dollars already gets knocked down to five hundred dollars, and then you have to look at tax and tax. I don't know what the tax is. But, you know, I, I put 15% away because I just assume that, you know, what I spend on expenses for the drive, for all the, my business, everything I'm working on, will cover, like, I'll be able to write that off and it'll cover the other part of what it would be. Because you want to save, it's about 20 to 30% in taxes that you, need, you should be saving, but I only save 15% for taxes. So, it just, and then, so that knocks it down another $100 or whatever. Um... So I'm looking at $400 to survive on for the next week and, you know, it's not enough. It's just not enough. So in, until I can get around that $1,000 mark, that's when it really, then, then I can go, okay, I can breathe. I don't have to work as hard and be just as insane with what I'm doing. Um, so that's kind of just something for you to consider in the San Diego area anyway. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. It's, it, I really felt like I had a, a good rhythm, a good handle on what was a, the reality and what was capable, and then to have a week like last week was just like it really discouraging, really discouraging for me. Um, here's my star rating. I did get my star rating up to a 5.0 at the beginning of the week, and then within a day it dropped down to like 4.8 something. Um, luckily, on my like, so I got my star rating up to a 4. Point nine five somewhere around the week I, i'll just leave them scroll they'll be scrolling along here so you can see every day's email i get but um but then it dropped down to 4.8 something and then now it's back up to a 4.9 like three or something like that so it's just it's so fickle how that star rating thing works i'm not you know you get supposedly it's the rated on every last hundred rides you've given the ring so you know just depends on what happens in those last hundred drives, I guess. Um, I don't. I honestly don't know what I do to create somebody to give me less than a four point or a, a four, you know, four star. I guess four star. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, you get what I'm saying. I'm really tired right now because last week I did. So let me talk. Well, let me talk for a moment on. Well, I'll do this first on my hours of schedule. So as you might already know, I didn't really know this I didn't see it in any of the tutorials that happened through Lyft um, 
but it was it's written down on the Lyft website. It's basically you can drive up to 14 hours a day, and at some point you need to stop for a six hour break. So, you know, if you drive 14 hours straight, you'll be cut off, and then you'll you know can drive for six hours. However, that's less than 24 hours. So if you're kind of a normal person and kind of do things on a schedule like a daily schedule, then in order to to start the next day, you know, you have two more hours, you know, so there's an eight hour break in there kind of thing that you could have. What I've been doing, what I kind of been falling into and what I did all last week was I start around five or six in the morning, go to about noon, take a like a three hour break at noon to, to three or whenever and then start up again around three or four and go to like 10 or 11. It's kind of the schedule I go by and it works out pretty good and that's basically what I've been doing, but I didn't really put together. I was, I thought at first it was, you had to stop every 24 hours, you had to stop for or within every 24 hours, you had to stop for six hours. I didn't realize you actually had to only could drive 14 hours until now. So it's kind of it's kind of good because it forces me into um, a better schedule. Like I can take a break in the midday and I'm gonna start working out more again because um, I'm realizing that I have to stop and then so that I can work till 11 or so is, is my perfect schedule, the schedule that I like. So that's just something for you to Consider if you're considering driving or if you didn't realize that when you want to put in a longer day You can only drive for 14 it just basically stacks up until you until you do that six hour break The 14 hours will keep compiling even if you took a five hour break It'll still the next time you start it'll add to the last hours you did until you hit 14 hours and it'll kick you out for six hours so something to be aware of um, Yeah, so there you go um, the amp reaction. So as you know, last week I got my amp, got it hooked up. I've been seeing more of them on the road as well. And one of the things, the main reaction that I've seen to the amp by the passengers is that they, there's more people that think you're their ride um, because they can see it better, especially at night. They see your little amp, they see your little glowy lift thing, and they think that you're their ride because you can tell. I mean, you, if you've been driving for a while, you start to be able to see the people on the corners and on the curves and on the, the street that are waiting for a lift um, and you just kind of know what they look like and they think that you're their ride more often and they kind of get all excited and then it's like no I'm not your ride I'm just going somewhere else um, and so uh, it's interesting that they they only see that but it's I guess it's kind of good as a beacon for people to see you but it make it potentially more confusing when people actually pull over and then there could be a couple of people trying to get into the same lift without them looking at what their car they should actually be getting into. But I, that hasn't happened to me yet. I just can see that people get all excited when I'm driving down the street because it's like, nope, I'm not your lift. Um, the referral, here's my referral code. I, um, if you want to kick down and become a lift driver, it looks like at this point right now they're doing it's a $2,000 bump for you and a $350 bump for me if you end up getting what was it, 500 rides in two months? I think that's what it was. Um, so you have to you have to kick the referral code in there. You get 30 days to start driving. Once you start driving, you have two months to get 500 rides, which is you know 250 rides a, a month, um, which is not entirely easy unless you are doing it somewhat full time. So consider that. Um, but it is $2,000 is an awesome bump. I wish I had that referral code when I started because I made the to you know made those rides I'm done I'm past that, that amount of rides already and it hasn't even well it has just been two months for me so I'm at like 680 some rides as of this moment right now um, which is pretty cool and then as you know I'm working on my own business at the same time one of the big parts of it is a clutch purse I make those are them on the wall I don't have any in front of me but you want to buy one um, it's you can go to the Etsy store for it and use this referral code lift 20 for 20% off all right that's good for today that's been my rideshare experience if you have anything that you want to ask me about my experience so far go for it feel free to watch older videos I think there's some good information for you to consider and I should have mentioned on the top but this is not advice this is just my experience so hopefully it's helpful I'd love it if it was helpful to you to kind of get a practical sense of what it's like for someone who drives 
full time as their primary income. This is my primary income and I drive full time. So that's all I have to add for the day. I'll catch you next week. Next time I do this. It's been about weekly. I took a break there for a minute, but I'm back on it now. Should be back should be back weekly for a while. So alright, peace.